Come to my office quickly, something terrible has happened! Need something else? See you later. Auf Wiedersehen! Nancy! Something terrible has happened! It's Lucas! He's missing! Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was. It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he... He's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking, Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen! It's Lucas! He's gone! I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. Lucas? Is everything okay? The creature got me and locked me up in here. I'll get you out. Hang tight. Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. Nancy, I'm out of here. Hurry! Nancy? Nancy, are you okay? I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm stuck. Hmm? Hmm? What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? I need more light. I can't see anything. These images must hide some sort of clue. That one's of the necklace. I wonder if the legend pages I've been finding would help. Did it! Oh, what's this? The legend pages have letters like this on them. I wonder if the order they were in before spells something. That must be the word I need to spell on the wall. It looks like I can start anywhere. Wow! It looks like the pieces slide to the next spot when they're put in.
bag wasn't there before. These look like spare costume pieces. All of these supplies must belong to the castle's monster. This email has tomorrow's date. It's a forgery. Looks like whoever this monster is is trying to frame Marcus. Stop! I know it's you! Anya! Looks like I don't need this now, if you had any idea how hot it was in that thing. Well, enough with the niceties. Why are you doing this? This castle was never yours. It should have been. It would never have been Marcus's if it weren't for me. He can't have it without me. I don't understand. Neither did I. I pushed him every day to go out there to make a mark on the world. I made him. And one day he makes his first big deal and the very next day he leaves me for some stupid young blonde who really gets him. Then he was gone. This isn't exactly gonna bring him back. I don't want him back. I want him ruined. By scaring away his customers? Uh, no. What if he told me to orchestrate the creature's sightings as a publicity stunt? Did he? No. But maybe I've got some emails and letters that say otherwise. And what if this publicity stunt led to a deadly accident? He'd be done. Over. Worse off than the day we met. You won't get away with this. Yes, I will. Do you still not see who you are in all this? You're the girl in the dress, and I'm the monster! <laughs> Let me out! No! Nancy, it was, it was all a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Don't leave me here! That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? You don't want to make an enemy of me. One day, I will find you. Well, there's a waiting list. I hope you're patient. Goodbye, Anya. Auf Wiedersehen, Nancy. You do know what that means, don't you? It means until we meet again. Yes, yes, I know. Dear Hannah, the police soon arrived, and Anya traded one cell for another. She swore her revenge, which may be something I need to keep an eye out for. In 20 to 30 years, Marcus was shocked by Anya's lingering anger. Despite their past, he really felt he could trust her. Now that the castle's dark history has gotten a little too personal, he's decided to put Castle Finster up for sale. He thanked me for my help and promised me a special surprise in the future. When Carl discovered that Castle Finster's monster was at long last a hoax, he decided maybe he wasn't really cursed after all. Having his board game approved seemed to reinforce that idea, and he decided to use earnings from selling his game to leave his job at the castle. I have a feeling he may be planning a trip to Canada to meet a certain special someone. Renata went off on her travels the very next day. She seems to have no intention of ever returning to Castle Finster, and I think she's happy about that. She thanked me for all of the snacks and told me to always keep an eye out for her on the road. I hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. Lucas and his family moved away from the castle. At first, he seemed sad to leave the castle behind. But after the package I just got, it looks like he's already back to his old self. He promises he won't be dressing up as a monster anytime soon. Knowing Lucas, 
That probably means he's got something better planned. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that almost everyone has moved on, the castle is no longer the nightmarish place it once was. The new owners don't fixate on the castle's deadly myths, but instead embrace the entirety of the castle's rich history, the bad and the good. Although Castle Finster has seen its share of tragedy, it has also enjoyed many years of peace and happiness. Now the castle's residents no longer hide behind locked doors in fear of a mythical monster. From what I hear, Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival has been cancelled and replaced with a Finster Festival, a celebration of all the wonderful and unique things that have happened within the walls of the castle. That sounds like more fun, and it's easier to say. Last I heard, my luggage was in Moldova. Hopefully it will find its way back to River Heights before too long. As for me, I'm finally coming home. I can't wait to get back. Love, Nancy. I'm returning home to River Heights to compete in the annual Clues Challenge with Bess, George, and Ned. But when the competition spirals out of control and River Heights' beloved Old Town Hall is burned to the ground, I find myself the prime suspect in a high-profile arson case. It's up to me to clear my name before I'm forever known as River Heights' public enemy number one. Join me on my next adventure, Alibi in Ashes.